Aha! Hello, Dinky Do! Excellent stuff, Scotty McClure. Just for you with a quick Wednesday evening pop up. Lots to talk about tonight, so get to your uh, devices as quickly as you possibly can and let you and I chit chat big style. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Excellent to have you all with us, of course. So much to talk about tonight, so little time to do it in. Andy McCrory, welcome, I say. Brian Wilson, Mike McKay there, wonderful stuff, good to have you with us, Roberta White and Alex Glass, excellent, you're all coming and joining me, it's Scotty McClue here, the one stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and we have so much to talk about tonight, so there you go, Eddie Adobe Senior, excellent stuff, Sid Devine, now tonight we're looking at two things, one, are there any benefits nowadays in marriage? All right, that's the first thing I'm going to ask you. Are there any benefits to be had in being married these days? The other thing we want to talk about tonight is Brexit. Now, I don't want to get hung up on Brexit, but I do want to touch on it and see what you all think. Cheers, Scotty, says Brian Wilson. Excellent, Brian. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. Excellent stuff. Lee Fern is watching. Come and join us. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live, just for you. This is the big one. Lovely to be with you. A Wednesday night pop-up, a quick midweek pop-up, just to see that you're all okay. Ian Whitelaw's watching. Thomas Hamilton, good evening, pal. I hope you have had a good day. I have indeed, pal. I hope you have had a good day as well. Hello, says Christopher Love. Dinky do, and welcome to Scotty McClue's Wednesday evening midweek pop-up. Audrey Titchen, lovely to have you with us, Audrey. Good to see so many familiar names and familiar faces, because some of you have got your wee photograph alongside. Brexit is a secret scam to fool the lower classes. Oh, well, I'd better watch out then. I don't want to get fooled. Graham Mickey, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us as well, of course. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Scotty, hello, I'm in Benidorm. We should put you on there. The entertainment's rubbish. Out, 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 says John Wilson. Well, I think out means in at the moment. And why do you say that, John? Because nobody has ever made a de facto case for Brexit, so why are we even having anything to do with it? That's why I'm asking. Uh, hi, says Matthew Joplin, so there you go. Hello, Mr. McClue, dinky do, says uh, Kevin Byers, dinky do to you, Kevin. Ahoy, shipmate, says David McCafferty. Excellent, David, I've got lots of good things up my sleeve for you. Down the hatch, I say. Elizabeth Bald, dinky do, Gerald Mackay, lovely to have you with us as well. The only benefit fit about marriage is the children of the same second name as the parents, says Eddie Dovey Senior. Eddie Dovey Senior, you are a scream. So there you are. Uh, <laughs> and does it matter that the children of the same second name as the parents? Because in so many marriages, the children don't have the second name of as the parents because they've come from a previous marriage, you see. Diego Lee, Dinky Do, Cans Needham, lovely to have you with us, of course. Thank you, Roberta. There we go, excellent stuff. Hello from Dylan Thompson from Hart Hill, says Margaret Ann Thompson. So there you are, excellent stuff. Who is Dylan? Uh, tell us the relationship of Dylan to Margaret Ann, we want to know. Tony Bamford, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. And welcome to Scotty McClure's Wednesday evening pop-up. We're asking tonight, what are the benefits of marriage, would you say, in this day and age? Send me lots of thumbs up, send me lots of hearts. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue. If you've never heard of me before, I'll spell it for you, capital S, small c-o-double-t-i-e. That's the Scotty and the McClue, capital M, small c, capital c-l-u-e. If you live in the northwest of England, a lot of you will remember that it's 20 years since we launched Century 105 Radio. How amazing is that? Best thing about hearts. Hot Hill is the road out of it. Thomas Pedden, I think you're being very harsh. I think you don't know anything about Hart Hill. I, on the other hand, do. There is a lovely, lovely little village. It's not just the motorway, you know. We June, thank you, do we June. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Excellent to know you're about. Mickey M's Gath Cocker, I'm very happy I took two children and my wife took my daughter, and we're very happy. 
happy. So there we are. Hope you're doing good, Scotty, my friends. It's General Mackay, Andrew, General Mackay, right back at you. La la, I say. Hi, Scotty, how are you? My wishes go to the people of North and South Carolina in America with the approaching record-breaking hurricane heading their way. Leaf Fern, what a lovely, lovely thing to say. I sent a tweet out on Twitter. Uh, well, I would send on Twitter. Uh, McIntyre, Dominic, didn't you do? Or Dominic McIntyre, lovely to have you with us. Um, it's full of loyalists and orange bands and a service station, says Thomas Peden. I think that's a lot of nonsense, Thomas Peden. So there you are. Never heard so much nonsense in all my life, right? Where there's one side of things, there's usually another side of things. So there'll be a lot of things you maybe don't know about Hart Hill. Excellent stuff. Maybe some people can come on and enlighten us. For those of you who are watching around the world, I don't want you to have to think too small. Hart Hill is a beautiful little picturesque village halfway between Glasgow and Edinburgh. So there we are. 100% truth, says Thomas Peden. I think you're being harsh, Thomas Peden. So there we are. You're in denial, he says. Thomas Peden, what would I be in denial about? Am I from Hart Hill? No. So there you are. They have a nice trippy, says Thomas. Excellent. Good. You're learning. Well, keep learning. There'll be a lot of things that you don't know and you'll find out. There we are. Marvellous to have you all with us. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lot of the internet. Quick Wednesday evening pop up to say hi to you. Marriage is like a hand grenade. When you pull the ring off, you lose your house. Oh, what a terrible thing to say, Eddie, don't we see you? You are a scream. So there you are. But a lot of people might not quite appreciate that. Uh, welcome, welcome, Scotty McClure, folks, live on Facebook Live. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 and come and join us. Ian Roach is watching. Thank you, dear. Lovely to have you with us, Ian. And a very warm welcome. Uh, I live 20 minutes from Hearts Hill, a place called Plains. Outside here, oh, I know Plains. Oh, that's an interesting place now, Thomas Pedden. We could tell you a few things about planes. There we are. Good evening, everyone. This is Thomas Hamilton. Evening, Thomas. Hi, Scotty. This is William Hannah. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us as well. <coughs> this is excellent, folks. Uh, Derek, lovely to have you with us. Come and join us, for goodness sake, and join in the debate. We're talking about marriage tonight, and we're talking about Brexit. I might even take a call, if you like. So there you are, a call on Messenger. Um, Thomas Penn says, rough as sandpaper. Who is yourself, or uh, or Hart Hill, or Airdrie, or Plains? Uh, I missed that one there. Scotty, I think you'd be very popular in America. Have you thought about trying to make it big there? Even though we'd miss you here in the UK, well, there's a lot of things to do yet. And um, as I say, I'm in talks with very, very senior people. So we'll see what happens. We'll maybe even get a platform in America as well. I stay in shots, says Andy Hughes. Nothing wrong with that, Andy. Do you know the wee Kirko shots where the first BBC Songs of Praise came from? I think it was the first one came from Kirko shots. All of them, says Thomas Peden. Now, Thomas, there's no such thing as a rough place, so it must be to do with the people. So there you go. Uh, we, June, here, do you still see the foxes in your garden? I do, June, yes, absolutely. Although my wee friend hasn't been about for a while that comes and talks to me. Evening, says Vanessa. Evening, Vanessa. Thank you, do. A very warm welcome. Scotty McClue with a Wednesday evening pop-up. Murray O'Donnell, come and join us, Murray. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky you, do, I always say. Andy Hughes. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us as well. We're a good crowd, guy. And he said, what's this about? So he pops up, he says, what's this about? I said, it's the Scotty McClue show. And that's it. My band recorded a CD in Port Glasgow. Where's Thomas Pedden? That's a lovely place, Port Glasgow. I'd like a holiday home there. 18 years sober today, says Thomas Hall. Thomas Hall, that is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I haven't touched a drop for two and a half years. So there you are. So I'm not quite in your league, but uh, I really, really congratulate you. So proud of you. Fantastic, Mr. Foxy McClure. 
says Mario Donald. Thank you too. Scott Beattie is watching. Excellent. So there you go. Lovely to have you with us, of course. I remember so many of you from the phone in days. Cammy West, welcome, welcome, welcome. We have a lovely mix of people who knew Scotty McClure's phone ins the Scotty McClure Nightline, and uh, also people who have just joined us brand new on Facebook Live. Uh, Brexit, who voted for, who was that you're talking about? So I missed that there. So we'll get it back. Charles Thompson. I have a fact on Brexit. More people in Scotland voted for Brexit than who voted for the SNP. That's a fact. Charles, I cannot see that as being a fact. We are big drinkers, Scotty, as Thomas been Not really, because I worked every night and I worked late and I was often at the wheel of the car. But uh, I would take a light refreshment maybe at, at a weekend, you know. But I don't bother at all now. Uh, Nightline, says Vanessa Taylor. Are you a Nightline lady? Excellent, Vanessa. I know you're totally against Brexit yourself, Scotty, but how do you think me and the Brexit Secretary are managing negotiations? Well, I think they're doing a wonderful job of um, obfuscation, really, effectively, isn't it? They we're two years down the road and nothing's really happened. So they are, and I don't suspect it will. If there's going to be a Brexit, it would only be in name only. But I was thinking, why would we want it at all, you know? Uh, 20 years married, time I got a longer beard. All right, Scotty, 21 years married today, says Brian Lafferty. Well done, Brian. Dinky do. So there you are. I had a friend who's 20 years married, 21 years married, and he couldn't remember breaking three mirrors. So there we are. What was your tipple, says Thomas Pedden? Well, uh, as a youngster, I liked a beer, but then I enjoyed a cider. So there you are. Elizabeth Campbell, dinky do. 50 of Mrs. May's MPs held a meeting to ouster. Now, what would be the point in that? Who's going to take over and be in the firing line? Um, is that books or records behind you? It's uh, it's CDs. CDs. Yes, I'm a long time Scotty McClure listener when he was on radio on all the stations, says Gerald Mackay. Gerald Mackay, I must have been on about 35 stations. And I have to scotch the myth that I got sacked from these stations. I didn't. I moved on to better jobs. Yes, so there we are, bigger stations. <coughs> Kelvin Allen's watching. Dinky do, lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, and this is our Wednesday evening pop-up. Michael Pivarel, lovely to have you with us as well. Guys, time for a share, come on. Get share, 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 share. I'll do a share here, and let us know what's happening. There we are, excellent. Right, see if I can get a wee share going here as well. I'm just having a wee kick round the corner there. Gordon Stirling, dinky do. What are you up to? I loved your red buses the other day. I was very proud of you. So there you are. All I get is a yudif all the time, says Derek Jimmy Walker. I beg your pardon? So there we are. Have I missed anything? Gordon Stirling, you have missed the world. So there you are. Thank goodness you're here. Perhaps you can catch up. Done it, pal, says Thomas. Good man. Shared from here, says Robbie Crossan. I'm just going to share as well, guys. See if we get a wee share going here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So there we go. Why does that not go up? Mr. Moose. The mooses don't work so well as they used to. Oh, there he is. He's away past. <laughs> He's got up far too fast. Excellent. Right. We'll do a share here. Are we ready, guys? Share. Good. Excellent. This wee thing takes a wee bit longer. The older equipment takes a wee bit longer. My friends met you in a Gile Bar and Coat Fridge, a, a Gile Bar and Coat Bridge, a few years back. That's right, Thomas. We did indeed. I was in Coat Bridge and we had a good old chit chat. Gavin McVicker, Dinky Doo, Mickey Emsgath Cocker has shared, I thank you. Let everybody know, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is live on Facebook Live. It brings the world together, guys. This is what uh, we were being asked last week by this chap. He said, what's, what's all this about? What's the point in this? I said, it's world unity. Nothing's been agreed upon as yet. Earlier today, some pro-Brexit Tory MPs at a meeting. Obviously, they wouldn't say 
anything. So there we are. See more. I can't see more in case I lose the broadcast. Charles McLaughlin, new location, Scotty. Well, Charles, well spotted. I tell you, we move about. So there you are. I am. Uh, what's the what's what's the word? Itinerant. <laughs> so there we are. Peripatetic. That's the one I was looking for. Peripatetic. I'm a peripatetic itinerant. I move about. So yes, new location tonight. Excellent stuff, Charles. I think you do. Went shopping again with Wendy. Record 30 minutes. You must just have picked up a paper or something, Derek. Shared, says Vanessa Taylor. Excellent, Vanessa. Thank you very much. Let them all know that we are live. So there we are. And I'll also share to a page and let them know as well. I'll share. Uh, Agnes of severe thrombosis, external piles. Do you have words of comfort? Yes. Gordon will soothe all this for you as he has soothed so many things in the past. So there you are. I'm doing the same Scotty Detox next month. Getting my life together. Good, good. What's your views on fatties wearing leggings? Legend. Well, I don't think they look too good. Do you know what I mean? I'm not one for all this. Oh, it's time to appreciate the fuller figure and stuff like that. Yes, of course, but not by squeezing into stuff that's uh, meant to be used by stick-thin youngsters. You know what I mean? Uh, who's in your CD collections, Christopher Love? Kenneth McKellar. What's your collection of CDs, says Vanessa Taylor? It's what I used to use for the Kayleys when I uh, do the Hogman A. Bash and the Scotty McClue Cayleys on radio. Rabbit Stew, help our national treasure out, put a few coppers and Scotty's just giving her PayPal. More raised, the bigger the broadcast. Absolutely, Robbie Crossan. I thank you, and you're a very generous man yourself. If you go on Scotty McClue's official website, guys, you'll see the little PayPal. Click on there, stick in a fiver or something like that, and it'll be very much appreciated. We use it for little bits of equipment, and for advertising to grow the show. So it's one of the most noble causes. I had a horror bag on one time saying there are other causes, but the thing is, if I'm doing well, so do the other causes, because I can broadcast. Hi, Scotty, you big plant, says Alan McGee. Hello, Alan McGee, you wee cactus. There, Colin Devine, uh, I'm putting more in the morrow, says Robbie. Yes, but Robbie, not too much. I want you to have it. You've got a lot of needs for your pennies. Uh, what do you think of Yorkshire, folks, says Vanessa Taylor? Well, I've lived in Yorkshire so long that um, I love them. North and South and East, the East Riding. Uh, where do I get Century Radio, Scotty? Century Radio sadly has gone now. So there you are. It morphed into another brand. But Century Radio is one of these wonderful brands. Dermot Scotty McVicker, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. A very fine man of great stock. Do you like Emma Deals, says Thomas Benton? I absolutely love it. So there you are, absolute. I'm a bit of an Emmerdale disciple. So there we are. And um, there's some great, great actors on there. I don't like to single actors out, but Marlon and Kane and Debbie, yeah. you know, and Eric, you know. I mean, they are, uh, they are amazing actors. And Diane, you know, a lot of these people have been around a long time. Charity, of course, fantastic job at the moment. Nice hat, Scotty. I thank you very much. That's from Yorkshire. There we are, from uh, Oakley. We need Dinky Doo FM. I'm sitting parked up in Bells Hill, getting a load for the truck tomorrow for Inverness. Wick and Thurso, says Andy Hughes. And you're watching Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live. Is the lighting all right tonight, guys? Is everybody quite happy with the lighting so there you are i like amos says andy Dovey senior amos has been out of it for years mr wilkes and amos so there we are barnsley says vanessa taylor yes i used to stay very close to barnsley so there you are wonder and home firth and halifax would you encourage people to get married or stay single says derek jimmy walker it depends on the circumstances there i liked I like Seth Armstrong, says Gordon Sterling. Like or liked? 
because Seth's gone. So there we are. The light is perfect, says Andy Hughes. Excellent, Andy. I'm glad we got it right for once. Is it too bright sometimes or too dark other times? What about Mary Hill FM? Scotty says Stephen McMahon. Honk, honk, Andy, says Scott BD. Uh, Dave McCann's watching. Welcome, Dave. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure's Wednesday evening pop-up. Any views on swinging in marriages? Well, you need somebody to give you a push. Otherwise, you won't get very high. And make sure that you put your legs up and then back. And that helps you go a wee bit higher. So there you go. And if possible, get one that the two of you can sit side by side and you can get the family to push you. So there you are. Gus McPhee, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. You're watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on the big one. So there are Facebook Live, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. And uh, our big show is Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp. Never, ever miss Scotty McClure on a Sunday night. You miss Scotty McClure, you miss a moment of life. Talking of soaps, should River City be in the NTA Awards? Oh, I should have thought so, Robbie Crossan. So there you go. Having said that, I've attended many award ceremonies and uh, for the world's top broadcaster and the holder of the biggest record for telephone calls to a radio station and the highest figures ever in Scottish radio, I think um, I've never won a thing. So there you go. Blackburn FM. There we are. Could get Susan Boyle to sing. Very nice. Lovely, lovely singer. Bring back the high road. And Davy Snedden, Davy Snedden, there you are. You wouldn't have messed with Snedden now, would you? Come on, be honest about it. Face up, step up to the plate. Wonderful. Who remembers? Take the high road and Davy Snedden. In fact, am I not right in thinking there was a rerun of Take the High Road when we had uh, STV2? Wonderful. Because I remember seeing one one night. I thought, this is fantastic. It was an afternoon. It's a Sunday afternoon. And there was one came after the next one. It was amazing. Fantastic. There you are. Do we miss? Take the high road. Scotty, you said you're not sure if this is true. Prove me wrong. 1,018,322 Scots voted for Brexit, says Charles Thompson. And it says see more. I can't see more, Charles. So put down who voted for the SNP. Don't be a doctor in River City with Lenny Murdoch about. <coughs> I think I would be very good as higher up than Lenny in the setup, you know what I mean? Lenny, I think you and I need to have a wee word. You know the kind of chat that I talk and you listen. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, Lenny? Something like that, you know, oh, frighten myself. Jockey was crabbit. So there we are, Thomas Bedden, <laughs> jockey. <laughs> Crossroads, Benny. Do you remember Benny in Crossroads? Yes. Who else do you remember in the soaps who's no longer sort of around? Miss Diane. Oh, you do, Miss Diane. Oh, you do. So there we are. Benny. Fantastic. Big Benny in Crossroads. Fantastic. And do you like Heartbeat? Who likes Heartbeat? Four rotors already, says Derek Jimmy Walker. What are you talking about, Derek Jimmy Walker? You go off on one on your own. Uh, I'd be as good as Scottish henchmen, says Robbie Cross and Dinky Do. 977,569 voted SNP, says Charles Thompson. And many voted Labour, Charles Thompson. Get us that figure as well. Uh, Jimmy Cockhill in Brookside. Brookie, yeah, uh, Jimmy. Fantastic. I used to watch that. Now, it was a Saturday afternoon, was it not? Brookie was on. So there. Who remembers Budgie? Ah, now, we mentioned Budgie before. Do we know Adam Faith was Budgie and Ian Cuthbertson was Charlie Endel? Charlie, big Charlie Endel. Budgie, you are going to bounce, sonny. <laughs> Four doctors already. Oh, I see. Yes, right. Rotors. That was the omnibus, says Travis Pedden. The rotors were the omnibus. Yes, what are you talking about? It talked to Gordon Stirling. You're talking about the omnibus. 
Oh no, sorry, the Omni, you're right, an omnibus. Yes, they used to do an omnibus. I'd forgotten about the omnibus on a Saturday afternoon and they showed the week's stuff, that's right, because I was always working, so I didn't get to see it, but I saw it on a Saturday afternoon when I lived in Preston in Lancashire. Very nice, used to put on Brookie. It was only down the road as well, uh, Brookside. Fantastic. And um, I'll tell you now, who was on Brookside? The lady that, uh, yes, I'm sure she was in Emmerdale as well. I'm pretty sure we'd, we'd, we'd yes, I was at Peyton Place for school. God is still, I think you still watch that. I think Agnes has got uh, old tapes of it and she puts it on and you think it's live. Stuff like that. She says, come on, Gordon, Peyton Place is on and I'll bring you your tea. Uh, hi, Scotty, trying to trace my brother. But the paper keeps sliding off his face. Brian Lafferty, what are you at for goodness sake? So there you go. Now, uh, the Red Show Diaries, the stuff has been, yes, the Red Show Diaries, remember that? Shoe. So I don't remember shoe. What was shoe? So there we are. I don't remember anything about that. Gumshoe. Remember Gumshoe? Uh, Vernon Strips, really funny. Vernon Strips, don't tell me, is in um, Heartbeat. Yes, Strips in Heartbeat. One of my favourite guy in Heartbeat has to be Alf Ventress, though. I love Alf. Well, they're all very good. You know, Blaketon as well, all that lot, and the guys. So there you are. Don't say an out about that. <laughs> She's me world, said he don't be senior. Brilliant. Shoestring, Eddie Shoestring. Remember that? Eddie Shoestring, was he the one through the radio as well? The Royal, says Andy. Yes, on the buses. Thomas Hamilton, on the buses. I'm not sure how politically correct on the buses would be nowadays. But there we are, quite interesting. So there we are, wonderful Reg Varney. And um, who else do we have? Olive. Remember Olive and Mum. Hello, Mum. Uh, Simbad was in the Royal and Brookside. You're right, Thomas. He was the porter. He was the chief porter, I think, in the Royal. And uh, he was Simbad in, uh, in Brookie. Love thy neighbour, old Charles McLaughlin. Do not go there. I don't think we'd be seeing that one uh, nowadays in terms of political correctness. John Riley. Dinky do. Welcome, 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 I say, if you've just joined us. You're watching Scotty McClue, and it's the Wednesday evening pop-up. Time for another share, guys. Come on, let's have a share. Share, share, share. Uh, there we go. I am going to share on that one. Oh, what are we? Right, one more share. Share, share, share. Excellent stuff. Can everybody share the Red Shoe Diaries? Uh, Admus hit me with a poker. Agnes has never hit you with a poker. Stop that. The SNP's one party independence about freedom. Not London parties dictating to use many people voted Labour or Tories. Many people voted Labour or Tories. Yes, not sure what you're saying, Robbie. I think you're having a wee chat on your own there. Um, you're chatting away to yourself there, son. Definitely, definitely. Right, hold on a second. Just do a bit of sharing. There we are, share on Scotty McClure. And uh, that's going live now. Right, me and Wendy, the Duckworths. So remember the Duckworths? Now, they were very entertaining. Have you noticed there's not so much comedy about these days? I find that really, really strange. So these soaps, I know they probably feel it gets a bigger audience, but I don't know about that. The Duckworths were very, very funny, very clever comedy. Remember Alec Gilroy? Great comedy as well. Roy Barraclough, the late, the late Roy Barraclough. Fabulous. Remember him with Les Dawson as well. Um, so there we go. In Sickness and in Health. David Randall now. In Sickness and in Health was a spin-off of Till Death Us Do Part. Am I not right? So there we are. That's it. That's what I think in sickness and in health. I remember that one. Fantastic stuff. The comedy in Corey was legendary. Absolutely, Robbie Crossing. Now, is it just me or do we not have that comedy now? 
you know? I don't think many viewers will remember Supercar or Four Feather Falls. Remember Supercars? Remember Casey Jones? Casey Jones steaming in a rolling. Casey Jones, um, you only have to guess. When you hear the tooting of the whistle, it's Casey at the throttle of the Cannonball Express. So there you go. And many Scots are angry about the SNP hijacking the Remain vote. Says Charles Thomas. I don't think any channels, to be honest. Uh, it's too much sex these days. Oh, on the box, he adds, it's awful. So there we are. Well, God, and get in there and, you know, see what's awful about it. Uh, we watch the old ones all the time, says Derek. Super grand. Do you know, I was thinking about super grand today, and I thought that was in a Sunday afternoon. Was that right? Super grand. So there you go. Fantastic. I remember all the super marionation. Uh, Fireball XL5. Captain Scarlet and the Mr. Ons, Stingray, Thunderbirds, wow. Uh, Doc Martin is so funny. Doc Martin is very funny, actually. Yes, I do like it. Uh, very good Martin Clunes. The One O'Clock Gang, David Rendell. Now, with the One O'Clock Gang, were they actually funny? If the One O'Clock Gang came back now, would there be an absolute scream? It'd be quite nice. Perhaps we could ask the television company to put out some of these old programs. I don't know. The only thing is they were live, weren't they? So maybe they don't have recordings of them. The One O'Clock Gang. Amazing, yes. Who remembers the One O'Clock Gang and who was in it? There you are. What was the One O'Clock Gang? Glenn Michaels, a highlight on a Sunday. Glenn Michaels cartoon cavalcade, Robbie Crossan. You could not fault Glenn Michael. Great guy. Wonderful stuff. Please, sir. Yes, please, sir. Uh, Saturday night. John Alderton, Saturday night at uh, about six o'clock-ish, half five-ish, is that right? Was Roger Moore in Ivanhoe or Sir Lancelot? Now, I can't remember if it was both. He was certainly in Ivanhoe. So there we are. Was he, was he, was he Ivanhoe? Tommy Cooper, yes, very funny. Hooray for Harold Lloyd, says Robbie. Larry Marshall. Larry Marshall was indeed Eddie Doby. Yes, you're right. He was in the one o'clock gang. Fantastic stuff. Um, rather biased, ain't you, Scotty? Says Charles Thomas. In what way, Charles? I deeply, deeply, deeply resent anybody ever saying I'm biased because Scotty McClue prides himself on the fact that he is never, ever, ever biased. So there you are. And uh, excellent stuff. So there you are. So Charles, come on. You need to come on and back that up big style and see where you think the bias is, and I shall clarify that for you. So that's what we're talking about. So there we go. And uh, Thomas, we don't want to be doing that. Thank you very much. Willie Kelly's watching. Think you do? Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Dorothy Paul. Yes, Do Dorothy Paul. Very talented lady. Very great comedian. Very funny. Uh, bring back 80s Saturday Night TV. It's full of mince the new. Yes, yes, we need. What about the Scotty McClue show on a Saturday night? Would you like that? Wonderful. Just pop up on something like um, commercial television. Just do half an hour of chit-chat like this. See how we get on. Gimme, gimme, is the Derek Jimmy Walker. Absolutely, I remember that. Uh, the Steamy. Now you're talking the Steamy. Tony Roper's wonderful play, The Steamy. I went to see that in uh, Airdrie. And uh, it was fantastic. It was outstanding. Uh, Roy Brownlow, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure. Wednesday evening pop up just for you and seeing what's what. Dinky dink, Scotty. No, no, Roy. It's got to be dinky do or it's a lifetime ban. Excellent stuff. Derek Holt, lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. Good to have you with us, the Roy. Uh, you're coming to Airdrie soon, says Thomas. Yes, that would be nice, Thomas. That would be excellent stuff. Come to Airdrie for a bit of dinky do. So there we are. Now, how's the time looking? Time I wasn't here, I say, but it's been lovely, lovely, lovely being with you all. I hope you've enjoyed the Wednesday evening pop-up, a Scotty weekend quiz show with prizes. 
Big prize show, yes, excellent. Can you clarify that more people in Scotland voted for Brexit than who voted for the SNP? Somebody else clarified that a bit. I'm wondering if you're a bit biased with that. You know, we don't want any bias on here. You can come for dinner at mine, says Thomas. Thank you. Charlie Sims, says David Rendell, excellent. Lifetime ban, I'm living forever. So it will out you, outlast you, Scotty. They are no problem at all. It's a lifetime ban on you coming on the show. And if I'm not here, then you're hardly going to come on the Scottish Blue Show, are you? You never thought about that, did you? Good night, pal, says Thomas. Good night, everybody. Been lovely, lovely, lovely being with you. Join me on Sunday evening at nine o'clock sharp. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClure or you miss a moment of life. Share and share and share the broadcasts. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live. Only a fact, says Charles Thompson. Nothing wrong with a fact then. How can you be biased with a fact? Now for now, Scotty McLean, Dinky Do, sing a song. Thanks very much, Scotty, says Brian Wilson, nighty night, says Murray O'Donnell. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, and a cheerio. Love the show, Sir Charles Thompson. Love you all, you guys, lots. Thanks, Charles. Scotty McLeary sing to every single one of you. Dinky-doo.